the other decision that came out, which was also awful, is the result of Chief Justice Roberts, who sided with the four um, avowed liberals on the court. Uh, he essentially said that this uh, deferred action program, the amnesty, the DACA dreamer amnesty that President Obama illicitly in, uh, implemented is um, can't, couldn't be undone by President Trump, or at least the way President Trump sought to undo it. So essentially, an illegal move by Obama was found to be Excuse me. It was found that President Trump illegally moved to remove an illegal rule by Obama. That's Alice in Wonderland decision making from the Supreme Court again. You know, that deferred action for childhood admissions, I think, and childhood arrivals is amnesty. It's outright amnesty. And it's amnesty directed at, at you know, narrowly, which of course isn't true, at, at um, individuals who came here illegally with their parents before a certain age, almost all of whom are now in their 20s and 30s, many of whom have been arrested for, too many of whom have been arrested for serious crimes. And it's amnesty. Congress had the ability, and they're constantly being asked to provide amnesty for this subcategory of illegal aliens and they've re refused to. I think amnesty is terrible. It's a terrible idea. And in many ways, amnesty for the children of illegal aliens, frankly, the illegal alien children of illegal aliens is the worst form of amnesty. Why is that? Because that's the, if you're, if you're looking to reward a powerful incentive, there's no more powerful incentive to come to this country illegally, in my view, then that if you get here, your children will become U.S. citizens, even though they are citizens of another country. That you are guaranteed, practically speaking, your children will become a, a, a citizens. So, if you want to guarantee include uh, increased illegal immigration, I mean, we see it, we saw this with the caravans the unaccompanied minor program. Do you think that wasn't tied to DACA? Of course it was. But Chief Justice Roberts undermined the Constitution again. You know, Obama's decision to provide amnesty for hundreds of thousands, I think the number, last number I checked was 600, 700,000, was unlawful, and the court interfered with the president's duty President Trump's duty, an absolutely absolute right to rescind it. And what the court essentially said was he didn't follow the rules in rescinding regulations, as if this was an a, a normal regulation. And then, of course, he applied rules that really don't fairly apply to this type of situation where the government's correcting illegal action. It's absurd analysis. It's absolutely absurd. It's illegal for President Trump to end an illegal program. I mean, that's that's the state of the modern left judiciary today. You know, and I said I supported Chief Justice Roberts. I think, you know, I'm even on TV supporting him. So I can't, you know, I can't pretend it didn't happen. But I remember when he was up for his nomination, and this is under President uh, George W. Bush. He said, you know, he's going. He you know he doesn't think judges should call. Uh, you know, shouldn't play in the game. They should. They should be umpires, just calling balls and strikes. Well, Chief Justice Roberts, he broke his promise because he ain't no umpire. Frankly, as I said on Twitter, he's banging the garbage cans in the dugout. That's what he's doing. And what do I'm referencing that cheating scandal down in Texas where players were banging garbage cans to signal. The plan pitches for the opposing team. He's got his thumb on the scales. He's playing the game. 
He's interfering with the game. He is not an umpire. And again, so what next? The president's going to have to go through the process again. And, you know, my view, the way the decision is written, the writings on the wall, they're going to come up with another reason to stop it. Because there's talk about whether these uh, illegal aliens, quote, relied on this illegal activity by Obama, whether they can be fairly have their uh, right right to remain here, which isn't a right under law, it's just a right entered by fiat by Obama. Taken away. You know, and the president smartly tweeted, he said, well, this is extraordinary, provides extraordinary power to a president because it looks to him like a president could put whatever policy he wanted into place and the following president really couldn't undo it easily whether or not it was legal or not. You know, my response to that was, oh, no, no, that's not the way it works. Because there's a different set of rules for President Trump. This was an anti-Trump decision in addition to being a political decision. Chief Justice Roberts has this nasty habit of changing the rules when it comes to Donald Trump. He did this similarly with the census decision. Do you remember that? where the administration made uh, did something that has been done repeatedly over the years, which is to try to add a question to the census about someone's citizenship status. The left is desperate to keep you in the dark about how many aliens are present in the United States. So they sued the administration quite aggressively. And of course, the courts let them do that. And Chief Justice Roberts completely changed the rules on how to analyze decision-making by the executive branch in that regard. It used to be there was this presumption of irregularity and that you couldn't get behind the decision-making. Well, the court said no. They, they changed the rules for Trump and said they could get them behind it and they were going to overturn it because they didn't like the alleged basis for the decision. And rather than fight it, the administration caved. They completely caved. Because the deep staters said, oh, it's too late for us to, you know, to get the census, you know, to be able to do the census and then still fight about this issue. We just got to get it done. And they caved. And they gave, the, apparently, they, I think they gave the other sides millions of dollars in legal fees too, your tax dollars, after caving. So, uh, and then, of course, Chief Justice Roberts also, by the way, upheld practically speaking, uh, these discriminatory shutdown orders targeting unfairly religious institutions. I mean, it used to be that uh, you couldn't specifically target religious institutions in a discriminatory fashion. Chief Justice Roberts said, well, yes, you can because coronavirus. I mean, you see across the country these uh, totalitarian leftist governors, because that's what they've become with their coronavirus shutdowns, endorsing and approving mass demonstrations in the, in the war on police. But Lord forbid... A church has more than 25 members or 25% capacity. They can get shut down. It used to be rules like that would have been thrown out as being in violation of the First Amendment right to freely exercise your religion. But not with Justice Roberts. So we need better judges. We need more conservative judges on the bench. And we need a more we need a legislative and executive branch that's willing to defend their constitutional roles. And of course, you need to be alert to these issues because this will happen, and they don't want to ask you what you think. Do you think your member of Congress is going to raise this at a town hall about, huh, oh, should we uh, take on the most one of the most powerful? special interest 
cultural movements in the country by reestablishing our right to govern ourselves by saying no, the anti-discrimination law applies only on the basis of sex and not sexual orientation and gender identity. You think they're going to raise that in a town hall? No, you got to bring it up. You got to bring it up. You got to call them. Call your senators, call your congressmen. 202-225-3121, 202-225-3121. So between DACA, which is amnesty. By the way, DACA is a terrible amnesty and because um, not only is it illegal, uh, but because it was illegal, they broke all the all sorts of other rules. You may recall that Obama promised that, oh, you know, we make sure that all these people are on the up and up who get this amnesty. And by the way, they have granted citizenship to DACA amnesty recipients. It wasn't just deferred removal. No, they allowed some of these folks to get green cards and many of them became citizens. So it's full-blown amnesty. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And Judicial Watch investigated whether they were doing the actual background checks that were promised. And we found that they abandoned the illegal alien background checks. We exposed that back in 2015, 2013, six years ago. Was that six years ago? No, it's seven years ago. This is in a series of agency memos beginning, beginning in September 14, 2012. Field offices were told to expect the National Benefit Center which collects the DACA applications to conduct only, quote, lean and light background checks on illegal alien applicants. And that henceforth, uh, the, the benefit center would perform, will not perform full text checks on any or any evidence review on these cases before we ship to the field. So that means they weren't doing real background checks. That's what that meant. Now we have these illegal aliens involved in demonstrations against our country. But only in, only in this day and age that the president trying to reestablish the law, reestablish the rule of law, you had the court actively interfere. And when you look at how, what happened is you had the original DACA amnesty and then the Obama gang saw they got away with that. So they took it a step further and they increased the, uh, expanded the amnesty, I think for specifically the family members of the illegal alien children who really weren't children anymore. And the, some, some states sued to stop that saying that's not appropriate. And what happened? They won. And rather than litigating that issue specifically and pushing it, um, uh, uh, taking the logic of that victory and challenging DACA, the states gave up. But Jeff Sessions, the Attorney General, the Justice Department, looked at that decision and said, well, this applies to DACA. We got to stop it under law. So the Trump administration was enforcing a Supreme Court decision that said this type of activity was illegal and we just had the Supreme Court said they couldn't do it that way. Again, Alice in Wonderland. 